I said get out of my face. Who's gonna make me? I am, you geeky pencil neck, poor excuse for a Guys. human. I don't know how many times I've said it, but I've grown up with Power Rangers all my life. All, almost except for the first. I catch it here and there on ABC Family and JetX, but didn't get to fully watch the entirety of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers until getting the Collector's Edition back in 2018, which contained the first three full seasons and the Alien Rangers miniseries. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was interesting, well rather that entire watch through was something in and of itself, but it was interesting in that it was very primitive. You could tell that they were just throwing things at the wall to see what stuck and that added its own charm. At the same time, the further you went into the show, you'd start to notice just how samey things got. Like, at a certain point, so many episodes in a row ended up feeling like filler in some way. I mean, how many times do we have to do a fish-related episode? I'm being so for real right now. When season two hit, though, things got crazy. The show introduces us to the Thunderzords, upgraded versions of the dinosaurs that had almost nothing to do with dinosaurs at all, created by Zordon and Alpha. Jason? You will control the Red Dragon Thunderzord. His power is fierce and true. The Rangers are able to call upon the Thunderzords by transforming their normal dinosaurs into them, and oh my god, it was so hype. The scene of the Rangers helmetless looking into the sky as their new Zords await them is sick, followed by them calling them out for the first time. It was a level of excitement I was hoping for with the first iteration of Rangers, and it stood its ground. Those first few times it happened were unmatched. And then it happened again. And again. And again. And then you start to realize, wait a minute, they, 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 weren't, they weren't in a rock quarry when they realized they needed their Zords. But, but now they are. Wait, 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 is this, isn't this the same roll call footage from when Tommy first joined the team as the Green Ranger like a full season ago? They, they are reusing this roll call footage for them calling the Thunderzords every single episode as stock footage and the clip itself is literally like an entire minute long. And of course, I mean, it, it's not unheard of. That's just what stock footage is. That's what Power Rangers does. But when you start to take into account just the fact that with Mighty Morphin, the Zord fights themselves essentially act as filler, it, it starts to get a bit much. I myself got to a point where I never even wanted to see the Zord fights anymore. Not because they were bad, but because they were always the same. They call the Zords... <laughs> The Zords transform, they beat the monster, and then we fade back in either later that day or the day after at the end. And nothing made me want to skip ahead more than when I saw that little blue streak of lightning pop up. I just knew that we was finna watch an entire minute, not including the Megazord transformation of them just bringing the Zords out. The moment I heard Zack go, lion, I was like, I'm not trying to hear all that and skip five minutes. Or since I played the episodes on my PC, I just hit the next chapter and it immediately zipped to them sitting at the juice bar. It always ended with a fade in back at the juice bar. I tell you what though, folks, that's bloody nice. It got even worse when the new Rangers came in and replaced the former ones because nothing was different. They just used the same footage, but just dubbed it over with the new actors. Until eventually deciding to film an entirely new roll call in America, but with the same Zord transformations. It was so maddening. Geeky pencil neck, poor excuse for a Guys. human. This is how many times this full minute scene played in the show. Now you can sit through it if you want to, but I'm not, I, I was not having it. I'm not nearly as mad as, as it seems. I, I just, I thought it was funny. I cannot wait for someone on Facebook to see the thumbnail of this video and the title and just absolutely start ranting to me about how I was being too hard on Mighty Morphin, how I just hate Mighty Morphin without having even watched the video. If you see this happen, please go in the comments and just say, I knew it. <laughs> please just do it for me, please. I don't even know how to end this video. Andrew. Andrew, Brandon, Caroline, Donnie, Emilia, Gwen, Helen, Ian, Junior the Hedgehog, Megley, Mia T. Toon, Nerdy Disney, our friend Barney, Samuel. Thank you to all of my Rainbow Line passengers. See you.